Currently classic, Jonathan Rackman Design. Text by Dean Rees Morgan. Jonathan Rackman is known for his timeless approach to interior design. He is an internationally recognized interior designer, and he brings the best elements of East and West, classical, old school, and current. Jonathan was born in Sumatra and educated in Switzerland. He has an enthusiasm for travel, and his exposure to antiques and flea markets across the world helped to define his keen eye for curating collections of textiles, objects of art, leather goods, and historical treasures. His work has been published in El Decor, Vogue, The English Home, Travel and Leisure, Harper's Bazaar, House Beautiful, and Lux, among others. Jonathan is also the owner of J. Rackman Design of San Francisco. The release of this book coincides with the 20th anniversary of his career in design. Despite not being formally trained in interior design, this extremely creative man has established himself as a force in the world of interiors. Jonathan Rackman began his career as a florist designer, and he gradually turned to interiors. His range of design has gone from grand mansions to English manor houses, to glamorous apartments in the sky and Victorian dwellings that are suited to contemporary living. In this book, which is Rackman's first, he opens the doors to his eclectic vividly colorful, and markedly refined world. Rackman injects his prestigious projects with a wide-reaching, worldly experience. He blends inspiration from a lively color palette, luxurious materials, and couture-quality attention to detail. He has an ability to combine the past and the present in a timeless yet contemporary approach to his interior design. This always results in a classic look. No matter what he is designing, his approach is always thoughtful and elegant. Jonathan Rackman has the ability to make every room tell a story. His objective is to translate the homeowner's taste to create spaces that are both aesthetically inviting and architecturally authentic. When Jonathan Rackman was asked about his definition of classic, he replied, Classic to me is something beautiful and gorgeous that stands the test of time. A Greek key pattern in a hallway marble floor, a lattice work in a sunroom, hand-printed chinoiserie wallpaper, for example. These things have been here for the last few centuries, yet here we are, in 2022, and they are still as beautiful as the day they were installed. I hope to do the same with my work, 
while I have only been a designer for 20 years, what I have designed in my early career is still current now, and it will be many decades to come. Rackman writes, as a designer, I've learned that antiques and family heirloom pieces have been seen as outdated or old elements by a younger generation. I find this disheartening. These items are romantic, beautiful, and meaningful. I believe we should honor them and incorporate them into our living spaces. Not only do they add a layer to a space, they also add to the story and romance of that space. A home should not be decorated for the sake of decoration. It should have a soul, a story, a romance. And these pieces do just that. Homes should be lived in. Otherwise, they are only tombs with furniture. Currently Classic, Jonathan Rackman Design, text by Dean Reese Morgan. This book is 262 pages. It is published by Flammarion, and it retails for $65. I'd like to invite you into our family room. This is the room where we relax, watch TV, read, and play games. I decorate this room in a very lighthearted way. I use a lot of pinks and blues, and that's mainly to match the tree. This tree has seen better days, but I don't think I will ever part with it. It was purchased in 1998 when my two oldest children came home from school with gingerbread ornaments that they had made. They asked for their own tree to put the ornaments on, and I indulged them. This is the tree that they picked out. The first year, it probably had eight ornaments, but you can see that we've added to it slowly and stuck to the theme of confections. I love this tree because it reminds me of my children. Those two gingerbread ornaments that began this tree are now so fragile that I don't put them out anymore. And those children that were in kindergarten and second grade are now 32 years old and 29 years old. I was very pleased when my third child came home about 10 years later with his very own gingerbread ornament and added it to the tree. He's 16 years old now.
I wanted to very quickly share my thoughtful gift number four, which are scented candles. These are always a beautiful gift, but I have two of my favorites. One that smells like a Fraser fir tree. If you don't have a real tree, but you love the fragrance they emit, this candle is for you. It's by Times, and it's called Fraser Fir. Another favorite candle is Sear Trudon. They've been making candles since 1643. They are a company based in France, and with fragrances like Ernesto that are reminiscent of Ernest Hemingway, or Mary that is supposed to smell like the home of Mary Shelley, or Solus Rex that emit a fragrance like the wooden floors at Versailles. These candles will please anyone, but especially a history lover. I will leave a link for both of these candle companies in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you Saturday.